Hey everybody, this is Wayne Dollar, director and founder of Level Up Pickleball Camps. Today we're sending you your pre-camp and post-camp videos. On the left side of your screen, you'll see your pre-camp video, and on the right side, you'll see your post-camp video. So watch this video now, and then watch it often, as often as you can, and uh, you'll keep picking up little tips in your game. So let's get started, and the first thing we're going to talk about here is your dinking. Now remember, dinking is unique to pickleball. It's unlike any other sport. So I want you not to take big back swings like you would in tennis, but rather I want you to start off by standing about two or three inches behind the line, pretty close. I want you having the paddle extended over the kitchen line out in front of you. I want you to bend your knees and keep your legs about shoulder width apart. When the ball is hit to your right side, I want you to shift your right foot to the right. When the ball is hit to your left, shift your left foot to the left. But try to take balls out in front of you as best you can. Try to guard the area in front of you so that balls don't bounce two or three inches from that kitchen line, but rather take them out of the air and block them back in the kitchen. So remember also to keep a soft grip. On a one to 10, your grip should probably be around a three or four. So soft grip, paddle out in front of you, and remember to shift side to side. Okay, everyone, now we're gonna talk about volleys. Now we're not gonna talk about those green light overheads. We're not gonna talk about the roll volleys, which are the balls dipping below the net. Rather, right now we're gonna focus on those balls that are hit hard at your body. Those are regular volleys. I want you to stand with your paddle out in front of you. If you're um, right-handed, maybe the paddle should be facing around like 11.30 out in front of you. If you're lefty, maybe around 12.30 out in front of you. The grip should be very tight when you're hitting your volleys, probably a 10 out of 10. Remember to punch your elbow out so your paddle face is parallel to the net and punch straight out so that when you finish your volley, the paddle face is pointing still at your opponent. I don't want you to extend past the ball where the tip of the paddle would be facing towards your opponent. I want the paddle face always to be square to your opponent. So practice those square volleys and practice shifting to keep the ball in the middle of your stance. Next thing we want to talk about is serving. First thing to remember about your serve is always get it in. If you're hitting too hard or hitting too much spin and you're missing serves, it's probably not a good serve then. I want you to practice consistently getting that serve in and deep in the court. I aim for the back four foot of the court always. I want you to do the same. The deeper you can hit your serve, the more you're gonna keep your opponents back on that return of serve. Next thing is where you set up. I want you to set up in a position on both sides of the court that open up your forehand. So if you're on the, if you're a righty on the right side of the court, I want you to stand near the center. If you're a righty on the left side of the court, I want you to stand out wide. Always open up your forehand so you're ready for the third shot to attack it with forehand drops and forehand volleys. Next thing we want to talk about is the return of serve. On the return of serve, the first thing and probably the most important thing is I want you to start back about four foot behind the baseline. After the serve is hit, you can evaluate how deep it's getting. If it's a deep serve, stay back there and then kind of creep into the shot and hit it and explode into it moving forward. If the serve is short, then you've got plenty of time to move in. But by standing back behind the line, you can always move forward into the shot. Lastly, on the return of serve, I don't want you to swing too hard. If you swing too hard, ball is going to get to your opponent before you can make your way up to the kitchen line. So make sure you only return as hard as you can get up to the line in time. Last thing is your third shot drops. In your third shot drops, I want you to really think of the game cornhole or beanbag toss. I want you to step in with your non-paddle leg and gently toss the ball over the net. I keep a very loose grip on a 1 to 10, probably about a 4 out of 10 very loose grip and I kind of visualize stepping in and tossing the ball into the kitchen. So practice that motion that's stepping in and a real gentle toss. Use your legs. Also, I want you to hit your third shot drops generally back the person running in who hit the return to serve. Chances are they didn't make it all the way up to the kitchen line. So focus on that for your third shot drop. Okay, everyone. So thank you for attending our Love What Pickball Camp. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned a lot. If you're looking for another camp in the future, please check out our website, leveluppickleball.com. Thank you again, and I hope to see you back at a future camp.